Welcome to the seventh episode of Plug in India show. I'm Amit, and I'm Rafi. So, Rafi, where are these charging infrastructures, and where can I go and charge my electric vehicle? Well, at your home or your workplace, Amit. Yes, you and I know that. Yeah, but then there are still questions coming up, and people keep asking like where they can go and charge electric vehicles. Yeah. Well, I think one of the major reasons why that is so is people are used to filling up petrol at petrol pumps, and they, they see go, a lot of petrol. They pumps. They see a lot of petrol pumps. True. But they're not. Uh, getting it that electric vehicles can be charged at home or your workplace we have a lot of skepticism especially even i face that at people from my society itself i understand yeah. and uh, we get blasted on youtube and social media people feel that electric vehicle charging is impossible one of the biggest reasons they give us is that there is a lack of parking space okay that you don't have fixed parking right and that you're not able to uh, park your car hmm. uh, in a certain space so uh, while this might be true we feel that this is a problem that can easily be fixed i mean societies and apartment complexes can allow uh, charging points to be set up in common areas right where people with electric cars can charge yes. or they could allow people to draw wires from their individual meters yep. Yep. to their fixed parking spaces and they right. can charge over there all it takes is an electrician who can come and actually fix a 15 ampere socket right. just making sure that a proper earthing has been given and if you have a electric car with a larger battery you require an evsc which is an electric vehicle supply equipment which will help you put up your electric charging point exactly. and that's also very easy it's not complex true amit and for people who have two wheelers yes. uh, well two wheelers most manufacturers have removable batteries yeah, so you can just, just take out the battery home take yeah. it home charge it and come back yes so as rafi said you know societies have to come together and allow people and electric car owners to charge in the premises okay and if all the societies and apartment managers do that yes. you will be helping india exactly so rafi let's move to our ev news section and the first thing we're going to talk about which we were just talking about is yes. charging an electric car and how easy it is uh you know to charge at a yeah. home or at work space but what about charging infrastructure in the city and on the highways right so you know the government is actually doing something about it and they are actually setting up charging infrastructure on the highways and within the city so people can top up their electric cars the union minister prakash jawarikar said by installing all these charging stations it is expected that at least one charging station will be available in most of the selected cities in a grid of 4 km by 4 km which will boost the confidence of the users of electric vehicles in terms of range anxiety and also this will encourage the OEMs to launch the new electric vehicle models yes amit and they're going to be installing about 2636 charging stations in 62 cities and 24 states under the fame 2 scheme and there will be 1633 fast charging stations and the remaining 1003 will be ac slow charging stations and the government uh, all the 1633 fast pcs will have a ccs charger along with the chademo and the dc001 standards the government is installing a variety of charging catering to all sorts of evs so what we also know rafi is that you know there is a public sector organization called mm -hmm. reil and they have been setting uh, installing charging points all across india and kamlesh from our team actually met an executive from reil and in the summer of 2019 at lonavla <laughs> uh, and they were installing charge fast charging stations on the highway between mumbai and pune Here are some photos which you can look at, which Kamlesh had clicked at the uh, work sites, and that has been happening in the summer of 2019. Work has paused in the summer of 2019 because of Lok Sabha elections, and now they have made the news uh, public. Amit, I hope this is not some fake news. Jumla hai kya? No, it's, it's actually just... happening. The work is okay. happening, and uh, as you can see, this is an well... awesome work. Well, Amit, uh, the executive from REIL told us that their strategy is to install a few fast chargers and a lot of uh, slow chargers. Okay. And they want to connect all the cities this way, so they'll right. be putting up fast chargers inside cities all, as okay. well, but a lot more on the highways. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have already done some work under phase one, where uh, they've installed charging points which are operational, and phase two is in progress. These points are being set up now. 
and users can actually download the REIL app from the Play Store and look up at the locations of the charging points. Uh, you can also filter by location, connector type and usage. Although we could not see the entire list of charge points for some reason, maybe the app will get updated soon. Right, and we'll be putting a link in the description below for you guys to take a look. Uh, also, the link will be put on the, uh, on the, sorry, the Plugin India website uh, so that uh, more people can know about the, this effort that has been taken by REIL. Uh, we've had a few comments, uh, especially on Twitter, where mm -hmm. people are criticizing this move by the government, saying that it's going to benefit only the rich. Right. Well, it's not only the rich people who go to petrol pumps. True. The same way, uh, people who use electric vehicles will be going to these infrastructure places. Right. It could and be anybody. It could right? be a bus. It could be a. It should be yeah. a rickshaw, e rickshaw. It could be a taxi, electric right. taxi. Uh, it could be two wheelers. So this is going to be benefiting everybody in the long run, yeah. and not to mention the crude oil savings. Yes. That the country is going to make. True. I'm very excited. You know what? By the end of 2020, there will be a whole lot of DC fast chargers. And I think we should be able to yes. do a whole lot of multiple trips. car trips in our oh. electric cars. So Rafi, there is this Chinese company called the Great Wall Motors uh, and they are uh, one of the largest SUV manufacturers in China and now they're interested in the Indian electric vehicle market. Right. So from SUVs to electric vehicles in India, uh, yes. we've also seen SAIC, a Chinese car manufacturer which is entering India yep. and uh, they want, they've already released the MG ZS uh, EV, EV. Yes. and uh, all these Chinese manufacturers are entering into the Indian market especially the electric vehicle market. Yep, because they want a slice of the Indian electric car electric market. Car. Apparently they are participating in the Auto Expo in Delhi which will be in Feb and this electric car which is a cute little electric car yep. called the Aura R1 which will be showcased and the range of the car is about 350 kilometers and you can juice it up in 45 minutes on a DC fast charger. Okay, wow. and it should be sold, um, which is uh, it's sold around seven for about seven lakhs INR in the Chinese market uh, after the Chinese government subsidies. And it looks uh, reminiscent of the Beetle or the Mini uh, and yes. Honda E, yep. a retro yet futuristic look. Right. Uh, so if there is any further news about the launch of the car, we will definitely let you guys know. So if they are here, Amit, rest assured, they are going to be the highlight of the show. Sure. Uh, the Indian electric market definitely needs a small car. We are sick and tired of these big eyes manufacturers who have uh, large vehicles. We need some small affordable cars. Yes. And this one fits the bill perfectly. Exactly, Rafi. We don't need any more uh, giant SUVs. We need small electric cars. So, Great Wall Motor Company, welcome to India. So, Rafi, the third news item is about the mainstream media and how mm -hmm. they've been so negative about electric vehicles, true. right? Uh, let's look at Economic Times for that matter of fact. And they have, uh, you know, written multiple times over the last year or a couple of years that it's, uh, you know, everything which is negative about electric vehicles and the sales mm -hmm. of the electric vehicles. Uh, and they've always shown electric vehicles in poor light. Let's look at this. Electric vehicles in the Indian market has created quite a hype in recent times. However, according to industry data, sales number doesn't match the hype as only 1,309 electric cars have sold in the first eight months, which is April to November of financial year 20. Actually, I mean, uh, it's very sad, but uh, the Indian automakers yeah. are uh, a lot to blame for this. They True. are not producing electric vehicles at yeah. all. They're just dumping all these crappy petrol and diesel automatics and SUVs and two-wheelers right. onto the Indian masses. And uh, as a result, we really don't have much of a choice. Right. Uh, if all these EV, if all these ICE manufacturers started producing at least two or three electric vehicles, right. that would give people more of a choice and build up their confidence. True. And then we would see the sales numbers actually going up. Right. And, and they usually guys, don't do that because yes, you know, they, uh, they make they more money in the, more in the servicing. Yes. And so it's a definite conflict of interest Completely. for them to give up that uh, moolah from the service that right. they make. Right. So Rafi, so, definitely once that happens and you know, when there are two or three EVs being launched right. by uh, ICE Major manufacturers, manufacturer. you know, the Economic Times or the mainstream media will not be able to mock the EV sales anymore. Uh, you know, usually their narrative is more or less very negative mm, and they keep true. saying that, you know, uh, that the EVs won't work in the Indian market and the sales are very low and it's just a passing fad and a hype. You know, their narratives have no analysis exactly. on whys and hows. 
every one of them amit i feel are the culprits over here whether it's the economic times yeah. or whether it's the wire or many other publication like yeah. they just uh, singing what the ice manufacturers want them to sing yes so rafi let's end the news section with a pos- on a positive sure. note and not on a negative note okay. so i would like to tell you about this couple in bangalore who has created a kit a you know a, a kit that can, you can convert your petrol scooters into a hybrid scooter now awesome so uh, you know the kit has a lithium battery uh, which uh, can give you a range of about 40 kilometers which is uh, an attractive solution to exactly. many uh, you know scooters just want to owners, get into yeah. and electric. they want to just get into electric exactly. mobility exactly i mean the product has yet to be commercialized yes. and the co-founder told the website that the brand has been registered as easy hybrid Mm-hmm. and it has received several inquiries all across india for dealerships okay so rafi but uh, if you had a petrol scooter would you want mm-hmm. to go for that well personally i would not want to go in for a hybrid because the whole idea is to go into entirely into electrics mm-hmm. and not depend on uh, petrol or diesel engines at all okay uh, also then there are the problems of having to maintain both the drive trains the ev as well as the Yeah. Uh, ice one having said that i would say that this is a very lucrative option mm-hmm. and for many people who have a lot of range anxiety yeah. this might enable them to switch from petrols and diesels into evs got that yeah it's a cool uh, you know option that is there to go for a hybrid uh, scooters and definitely has a lot of potential and we wish uh, the bangalore couple and mr easy hybrid uh, mr all Mila the best mela dad Uh, all the best and if we are in bangalore we would love to meet you and check out the kit yes welcome to this month's ev gossip section of the plug in india show the first gossip entry is about maruti suzuki ertiga electric which apparently is going to become the second ev from the maruti brand so the mainstream media already thinks that maruti has launched an electric car and meanwhile maruti is dreaming about offering its second car where its first car is it even ready yet are hydrogen powered fuel cell electric vehicles the future are they better than all electric vehicles do they hold more relevance in the indian context in comparison to evs are hydrogen powered vehicles the eternal excuse for big ice automakers to delay selling electric vehicles there is not even a single hydrogen vehicle on the road in india today evs are way ahead of the game it's way more convenient to charge your electric vehicle at home where you have a socket and never mind that electric vehicles haven't been have been sold in india for the last 20 years and have been proven to be reliable and in demand the genius who wrote this article seems to have driven a lot of hydrogen powered vehicles and also seems to have fueled up at hydrogen pumps he certainly seems to think that electric vehicles are not as good for india as hydrogen vehicles damn decades of empirical evidence proving otherwise the kia seltos electric suv with 400 km range is coming to rival the mg zs ev and the hyundai kona ev in india so the kia only has the nero ev in the global market it has not formally announced any plans to bring that or any other ev to india but given the massive launches of the kona the mg ev and tata nexon looks like our media wants to get some quick and easy coverage with the hottest news in the automotive world right now the unstoppable rise of electric vehicles to that we say kya hum logo ko bewakoof samajhte ho maruti is going to showcase an all electric concept car called the future of e at the auto expo in maruti's world evs are only reserved for the future of course they will show an electric car at the auto expo just for quick and cheap media coverage the reality is that they don't have an electric vehicle at all they just want to continue pushing outdated petrol hatchback like they have for the last 35 years with advanced high tech features like automatic gear shifting the same way junk food disguises its empty calories with tons of salt and sugar so thanks abhishek for enlightening us about how mainstream media and auto website keep speculating about electric vehicles and we'll be having a ev gossip section every month on this show so guys tune in type your responses tell us what your take is so rafi we're moving into our twitter ev world and the first tweet today is from ceo of uh, niti ayog mr amitabh khan uh, he says a big move give giving a major impetus to electric vehicle mobility government has approved installation of 2600 ev charging stations in 62 cities under frame 2 at least one charging station will be av- available in a grid of 4 km by 4 km this would remove range anxiety 
This is absolutely awesome, Amit. Uh, Mr. Amitabh Khan is so passionate about electric mobility and it shows. Yes. We love the speech that he gave on the Bajaj Chetak launch event. Yep. And unlike mainstream media, mm-hmm. he reports and tweets positive things for electric vehicles. Yes, and we really appreciate, like Plug in India team appreciates your efforts for electric mobility, Mr. Kant, and uh, all Thank the you. best. So the next tweet is from Tarun Mehta, the co-founder of Aether Energy, and he tweeted this. Less than two hours and more than 200 folks have applied for dealership from 75 cities. And this is us right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's pro- That just shows how popular they are. That's true. And all these years, but Ether was planning that they will not have dealerships and only have experience centers. Mm. You know, but there has been a sudden change. And I wonder why. I have a feeling because, you know, the Revolt launch and they've been doing so well. Could be one of the reasons and even Bajaj Chetak coming Chetak, into the market. Uh, they must want to expand really fast now that yep. these other guys are in the market and they're yep. spooked. So Rafi, Revolt Electric Motorcycle is a big hit in Delhi and Pune. And they've already been teasing about their next launch exactly. uh, city. This is- so you can take a look at this picture. And uh, we researched and the monument looks like it's Valuvar Kottam, which is a monument in Chennai dedicated to the classic Tamil poet philosopher Valuvar. Uh, It's absolutely amazing how Revolt have expanded. Uh, They have done, what they have done is they've identified local business partners who will operate the local Revolt experience center, the service Mm -hmm. center and basically the Revolt hub. We feel this is the way to go. Yep. And we wish the Revolt team all the best for Chennai. And watch out Chennai. If you are wanting to try an electric bike, try the Revolt. So we're going to move to our... The power section and the first story is Aether S450 software update. We've got the latest software update, the 4.1.0 update, and we have our uh, Plugin India member Ayan Ahmad who sent us uh, details about the update. Uh, it seems that they've got uh, onboard navigation improvements. The navigation screen is a lot smoother now, okay, and uh, it's quicker to respond. Yep, and I saw that. Uh, and they've used uh, the data that they've gathered from their users to make these improvements yep. and the responses and the feedback that the users gave them. So overall, uh, they have a drop pin notification now, for instance, where uh, okay. you can go anywhere if there is no place already marked. You can put your own mark and then navigate to that direction, that okay. place. Okay. Uh, automatic rerouting earlier, when mm-hmm. you reroute it, uh, the screen on the Aether would ask you for a prompt. Now it doesn't do that, so it's seamless. You can just uh, nice. keep riding, not yeah. have to uh, touch the screen while you're driving. Okay. And uh, navigation, of course, has been improved. Ride mm-hmm. statistics uh, were being accessed by users quite a lot. Okay. So what they've done now is they update the app quite frequently. Nice. More frequently. And that's a response to what they were seeing on their servers. Right. App sync has become uh, more uh, quicker okay. uh, because... Uh, Again, uh, the state of the scooter, the state of charge and all the various statistics are quickly available on the app. So uh, all in all, a good update. Right. And Rafi, all this happens over the air. All over the air. Wow. Nice. No need to go to the service center. The next story we've received from Arun Bhatt from Bangalore and he shared a photo of his bill. Uh, yeah. After riding his Hyundai Kona for 10,000 kilometers and he went for his first servicing and the bill amount was... Yes, cars. Zero. <laughs> so, uh, Hyundai Kona has a warranty of about four years and 40,000 kilometers. And after that, we need to see now how Hyundai manages the mm. after sales services uh, for their Kona customers, you know, and the replacements. Because we personally maybe have had a disappointing experience with Mahindra Electric mm. because, the you know, a very good example would be like an onboard charger would cost Rs. 65,000, whereas okay. we know the real cost from our manufacturing contacts, right? So we hope Hyundai is fair and when it comes to EVs, they support electric vehicle users owners, yeah. and owners completely. So we encourage uh, everybody to follow Mr. Arun Bhatt's tweet. He's tweeted about his Hyundai Kona. Right. And uh, go, go for ahead, it. follow him, like yeah. it, like that tweet. So the next I have the power story is from Kamlesh from Nasik, and right. he sent in his pictures of his bike when he received uh, the Revolt bike. 
and uh, yes. you know and he's also sh- mentioned about how he felt like a celebrity you know people looking at him when he's riding his bike right. you know just as you know we felt we feel, five yeah. years back when we got our e2s and it's amazing i know that kamlesh kamlesh uh, i kamlesh i mean i've been interacting with him he's opened up the maharashtra uh, ev users groups and yeah. yes i guess uh, everybody knows that kamlesh 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 Uh, you have photos or videos that you would like to share with us so we can feature them uh, on our show please do send them over to us at support@pluginindia.com at that link and that email has been given in the links below uh, go ahead and uh, share with us what your uh, experiences with your new EVs have been or your old EVs for that matter all right so we're moving to a very very important section of community charge That's point watch, watch. and anybody and everybody whether you have a ev that's an electric vehicle or a bike or a car any sort can, of electric mobility yes yeah. and you can set up your own charging points or uh, a charging station and you can send it to us on and we shall feature it on our the recharge in your yeah. app and all you have to do is set it up and send us the details and the email id is given below so today's first uh, community charge That's point me. is from kolkata this has been set up at the access mall which is in the new town area there is a one socket of 15 ampere which is uh, open from 10 am to 6 pm right the second charge point actually is a combination three charge points there's a person called mr uh, mehra bakil and he's been following us closely and he's very interested in electric mm-hmm. vehicles and all the properties he owns three yeah, so far right uh, one two in dhanu and one in bordi where they also have a gulkush resort and it's no close to a beach right uh, he has set up charging points for yeah. any kind of electric vehicles we have to just call and go make sure that you have your cables and adapters and wires with you right and uh, they'll be happy to let you charge and stay at the resort as well yeah. uh, 50 rupees an hour that's the charge that they've mentioned correct and uh, go ahead guys and uh, so if you have a business or uh, ev Yeah. charge point that you want to register on our app which is the recharge india app download it and uh, just uh, let us know let us know get in touch with us and we'll put your uh, location on our app so rafi it's the exciting time of the ev giveaway support a giveaway right and this time because the show was all about the ev charging, charging point right so and we had this amazing mv charging from mr mehrab vakil so we would like to give him a big round of applause and also there a t-shirt that will be coming your way mr yep. mehrab uh, for the pioneers and for the real pioneers the first company that actually did fantastic electric cars yeah and you have set up three charge points and we're really really happy for that and we would be coming there soon to charge our cars yes and uh, thank you all for supporting plug in india and uh, for subscribing to us if you haven't done yet so already, done that please, please do, do so. it uh, thank you to our patreon uh, subscribers yes. and our youtube channel members yep. thank you guys your monthly donations do help us and go a long way towards producing the show uh, also to all you guys out there for giving us your love and watching us yes thanks a lot and uh, we would like to have your suggestions about what's good about the show and what's not good about the show as well yep. so please go ahead and put your comments in the comments box below so then we can read it and act on it accordingly so i shout ebn all right go. so <laughs> and uh, so <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. All right. So the last uh, we have now. What? Is it? Okay, we start.